Hi everybody, my name is Naomi and I work with Saddlebook. And today in this video, I'm going to show all you producers how to set up your time onlys and or exhibitions. Let's get to it. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I'll be using the terms time only and exhibition interchangeably. We know that they're different based on where you're from. However, they still get set up the same way. So just something to be aware of as we're going through. They can also be set up in a variety of ways, depending on the complexity of your event and what it is you're looking for. So first I'll start by showing you how to set up a standard time only, like you can see here. And then next I'll show you how to set up time onlys that are broken into time intervals and by day. Whether you do a standard or a more complex setup, you will always have a report that shows you how many you sold and to what writers. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so I set up my event. I have a open 4D barrel race. I just have my one class and then I want to add some time onlys. So to do that, I'm going to go to my organization drop down menu and items. This is my master items list and you'll notice I don't have anything in here yet. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on this new item button and I'll put in a skew. This is just going to be a number, the title. I'm going to do time only. $5. And then the item type for this will be time only. Then we'll go ahead and create the item. Once I do that, I'll go back to my event, tap this green vertical bar here on the right, tap on additional fees, new, select the time only from my items list. Again, this item type, I'm going to do other. If you had a max sales quantity, for instance, only 50 to sell, you would type that in here. Otherwise, leave it blank and then go ahead and create the event item. Now here, I have a high level view under my additional fees. I have a time only and I've currently sold zero out of 50. So as entries are coming in, this number is going to change, continuing to give me that high level view. If I want to check, I can go to this gear on the time only and then activity. And there's nothing in here yet, but it will show me a report of the writers and the quantity of time onlys that they purchased and then an overall quantity of what I've sold. You can also go here to the reports drop down menu and time only schedule and you'll see that same report duplicated here. If we were to take a look of what this would look like on the entry form, we would go here to express entry. And then here on this other items page, you'll see the time only and you can add or subtract the time only's here. Okay, so in this example, I'll show you how to set up time onlys for a multi-day event and in time intervals. So I've set up my event and now I'm going to go to my master items list and I'll do a new item. The SKU in this case will put your time onlys in order. So the first time interval that I'm doing is just 8 to 8.30 a.m. The price is $5 and the item type is time only. Create the item and now I'll do another new item. And the next SKU number I'm going to use is 201. We'll do 8.30 to 9 a.m. Okay. 
and then create the item. So now I have two time onlys here, 8 to 8.30 and 8.30 to 9. You can do as many time only intervals as you'd like. I'm just going to start with these two. And remember, it is a two-day event, but that's okay um, that I didn't include the day in the title. I'll show you how to do that on the event side. So we go back into our event. Tap the green vertical bar, additional fees, and we'll do a new item. Choose my 8 to 8.30. This is going to be an other. And the day number on this is going to be 1 for the first day of the event, which is Friday. And I only have 30 to sell in this half hour time interval. Create the event item. So now we see that we have a time only from 8 to 8.30 a.m. Friday, October 21st. Zero out of 30 have been sold. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other 8.30 to 9 time slot and then I'll do the same thing for Saturday and show you guys what that looks like. Okay so now you can see that I've set up all my time onlys for Friday and for Saturday and I used the day number to differentiate between them and if we go ahead and take a look at an entry form You can see all the different time onlys that are available here. And I only have 30 per time slot, so for demonstration purposes, once 30 have been sold, no more can be purchased. And that's how you set up time onlys. Stay tuned for more helpful videos.